Hi YouTube, it's Melissa or Melly's VSG 2012. Um, coming to you doing my fourth week and fifth week update. I actually made a video for my fourth week and I can't get it to upload again. Um, and I bought a camera too, but now my laptop's acting up, so I know excuses, excuses. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm gonna try to get better at this. I don't want to um, be missing weeks like that. It's just really hard to upload it. Um, it gets really annoying when you it takes four hours to upload and then it tells you fail to upload and it takes another four hours and then fails to upload again and it takes another. I mean, it just drives me crazy. So enough of that. Um, I guess I get into the numbers. I think last time I was on, I weighed 360 because my weight was fluctuating and my muscle was going up and I was losing fat, so it had gone up a little bit. Um, but I weighed myself this morning and I am happy to say I'm at 353. Now, when I weighed myself last Wednesday, I had not lost anything. So it was three weeks of not losing and it gets really really frustrating because I wasn't gonna post a video I was so frustrated myself on Wednesday and then I went just to make myself feel better I went and grabbed some pants that I knew hadn't fit in like three or four years and when I tried them on like about a week after surgery um, I could pull them up but I couldn't they were nowhere near to closing um, so I put them on and I was able to close and zip them. Now they were really tight when I did it, but I was able to. So it made me feel good to know that I actually was losing. It just wasn't showing up on the scale. I was losing, I guess, inches. Um, you have to excuse me. I'm in my pajamas today. <laughs> so, so yeah. So it was weird, really weird because that was Wednesday. And then the following day on Thursday, I lost two pounds. So that's like weird. You know, you're the same weight. And then all of a sudden you're two pounds down. And then all of a sudden today I weighed myself and I was 353 this morning. Um, it's kind of, it's crazy um, to be stuck and be annoyed. So you guys are out there and you're, you know, in the beginning of this and you're stuck three or four weeks into it. Don't freak out. I Like I said, I stayed stuck for three weeks and I wasn't cheating or... Um, wasn't overeating, wasn't drinking and eating, wasn't, you know, it's like, you know, I just wasn't getting that many calories in, and I didn't understand why, you know, I was trying to get my protein and everything, but I didn't understand why I wasn't losing. The doctor said it's perfectly normal, and that happens. I actually even went on YouTube looking for, um, other people that have had the VSG, and, um, found, um, I follow, like, Mary... Mary Posa, I think her name is, and me and her about the same weight um, when she started, um, and I know that when she had hers done, she was stuck for three weeks, like the exact, like me, um, so that made me feel a little better, and then when I hopped on the scale the following day, it made me feel even better, so it motivated me again to just start um, working out again, because it's been, I'll admit that the working out part has been really difficult because of my job. I mean, for example, Monday I worked a 10-hour shift, didn't take a lunch. Um, I shouldn't say shift. They're not really shifts. I just worked 10 hours straight, straight through. It's The job that I do is just really, really stressful. And even though I'm not getting paid um, for my 10 hours, it's just like the work has to be done and there's no other way to do it unless I um, just work over. Um, I worked Saturday. I wasn't even supposed to work Saturday, but I, I did it. Um, so, I mean, my hours are crazy. And then by the time I get off, it's like I don't really want to work out because I'm just with cooking dinner and cleaning up the house. And by the time it's like 9 or 10 o'clock night, and I'm exhausted from being up all day. So, I'm trying to get better at it. Last week, I did um, work out twice. But then I went shopping all weekend, so I was on my feet all weekend. I mean, seven, eight hours at a time, walking and walking. So, I don't know if that really counts as exercising because your heartbeat really isn't beating really fast. But I was walking, so. Um, but I did exercise a walk uh, in the park uh, two times last week. And um, I want to get a walk-in. I might have to change and go get a walk-in because I'm feeling a little guilty today. Um, I've been craving pizza since... Um, 
after my surgery, and I know it's terrible to say, but I actually ate a slice of pizza. Um, not the whole slice. I couldn't finish the whole slice, of course. I ate the toppings off of it first because I know that the meat and the cheese has the protein. And then just ate a little bit of the the bread part. Um, and I probably shouldn't have done it. But I feel like now that I've ha I satisfied that craving, like, now I can move on and get over it. Because what it seems like to me is like a lot of things I have been craving... It's like, just I get the taste of it, and just to get the taste of it, and I'm, I'm over it. And I feel like I can go probably months now without having it again. So, um, I don't know how terrible that is. I mean, I know pizza's probably one of the worst things you could have, but my body was really craving it. So, especially since I've done that, I really want to go push myself to go do a couple laps around the park. Um, but other than that, I've been really, really good um, staying away from, from carbs. Um staying away from sugar, uh, doing mostly just my protein, protein. And actually, a lot of people struggle with getting their protein in, but it seems like most days I can get my protein in and more. Um, so, um, just to go, like, a basic rundown on what I eat. Um, for breakfast, I do, like, a Greek yogurt or a protein shake, or sometimes I'll do half a Greek yogurt and a piece of cheese. And I usually buy, like, the... I don't have the string cheese yet, even though that's good. I buy, like, the one that's, like, in a little individual wrapper, and it's, like, that big or something. It's, like, an ounce of cheese or something. I'll do that for breakfast. Um, and then, like, three hours later, I have my lunch is at 11. And I'll do either, like, shrimp. Like, today I did shrimp scampi. Um, it's, like, in a frozen thing, and I just put it in the microwave, and it's, like, four, uh, for four shrimp, I think it's, like, 17... Or 15 grams of protein, I'll have that. Um, sometimes I sprinkle a little cheese on it, or I'll just have it like that with a little piece of avocado mushed up in there, or something like that. I, I've been eating a lot of avocado. I can really say that I crave the cheese, I crave the milk. I'm gonna have to, when I go get my blood work, I'm thinking that my body is not getting enough vitamin D or calcium or something, and that's what maybe why I'm craving it so much. And it's really weird because before the surgery I always craved ice cream and I know it's because I'm not a milk person um I just craved the ice cream and like since I've had the surgery I haven't had the cravings for the ice cream at all like I haven't had ice cream and not, it doesn't bother me and I don't I don't want it so it's just kind of it's weird um not to have that because I was such a big ice cream person before like I'd have it like twice a week um you know usually like you know, either if it was like a diet ice cream or like a skinny cow or something, I'd have something about twice a week, sometimes once a week. Um, so, you know, that's cravings gone. That's like I said, my lunches, I do shrimp. Sometimes I do wings. Um, I found the wings that are really not that bad on carbs. I think it's like five, five carb, five carbs or something, but it's got like 19 protein or 20 protein. I've done meatballs before that come the frozen. To me, the frozen food is just so much easier during lunch because I, I eat and work at the same time. So it's just a lot easier for me to do that. Now for, um, and that's usually about, like I said, 11. And all in between that time, I drink my water. You know, have to wait 30 minutes before, I mean, 30 minutes after you eat to have the um, have water or you can have water and then wait 15 minutes before you eat. Um, so, like, after, let's see, 11, 12, 1, 2, about between 2 and 3 o'clock, I'll have a snack. And that could be the other half of the yogurt that I didn't eat. It could be a piece of cheese and, um, or some more shrimp. If I have anything left over, I'll have that. Um, because they told me that basically every size, even the snacks are the same size. Now, I would, to me, a snack is, like, something, a smaller portion, but she said it's fine to eat the same size. So, sometimes I'll do the wings again, or sometimes I'll do the cheese and the turkey rolled up or something. I'll do something like that. Um, and then dinner, I always cook. Um, and it, to me, it feels like I haven't had any issues digesting anything. I know some of my neighbor, my neighbor and my coworker both have had the gastric sleeve right around the same time as I did. It looks like, um... They have had different issues, like my coworker doesn't seem to be able to get the chicken down, and my other, um, my neighbor seems like I think it's the beef or something, and for me, everything goes down fine, and I have had no issues, no complaints, no throwing up. Um, we went to Outback on... <coughs> my dog, sorry. 
Food is Um, we went to Outback on one day when I think Saturday or something. We went to Outback, and my mom. We ended up getting that uh, steak and lobster thing that's been showing, and they've been showing it. And I've been wanting it because they show it all the time. It was supposed to be really, really good. It's disgusting, by the way. I don't know if it's just that my food was overcooked, but um. Me and my mom went, we only ordered one plate because I still find it pointless for me to waste food when, that I'm not going to eat. So, um, she ordered the steak and the lobster and I ended up eating maybe about that big of steak and then like a little piece of lobster. Um, no, no mashed potatoes or anything like that. She got mashed potatoes and I didn't have that. Um, I don't think the steak set well with me, and I don't know if it was, I didn't chew it well enough, or, um, maybe because it just was so thick, and it was kind of, I think to me it was burned, and it was a little dry, that, I don't know, it, I wasn't nauseous, I just felt like it felt heavy on my stomach, and I didn't like the feeling, so I told my mom, I don't think that this is gonna, I'm not gonna do this again for a while, um, and then we ended up going to Red Red Lobster a few days later. And like I said, I don't eat. Um, so we ended up ordering an appetizer and I actually made that my meal. And it was just shrimp. It wasn't bread. I don't think it was breaded. And I had like three or four shrimp and I was super full. And then whatever was left over, I just took it to have later on in the day. So um, that's one thing. I mean, if you do want to order something... I mean, you can just be aware that you're not you're gonna you're not gonna eat most of it. And it's probably gonna take you the whole day to eat it. Um, and I've done that before with different things that um, I know that I can get it, but it's gonna take me the whole day to to eat it. So I am trying to stay away from carbs. Um, today was like an exception, but I really am when I'm trying to stay away from the carbs. Um, I do a little bit of veggies and mostly protein. If I do a piece of meat, I might do like little, you know, maybe a little piece of like two pieces of broccoli or a piece of cauliflower or something like that. Um, just to get the taste of it and then it's enough. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to come on here and just let you guys know that I'm doing okay. I'm a lot happier now that I've lost some more weight and I'm so, so excited now. Um, my brother just came in here and um, it looks like we're going to go walking so I better change and um, hopefully get at least 30 minutes of exercise in over there. But if you guys have any questions, comment below. I'll answer you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching my videos and it like um, it means a lot to me. A lot of times I feel discouraged and I read something that you guys wrote and it makes me feel better that you know I can see the changes in my body. Um, but when other people see them too, it's like, it kind of just a reassurance to me. Um, so thank you so much. Um, and I hopefully will be on here, back on here in seven days and not 14 days like last time. But it just really sucks that I'm having issues. So um, with the technology stuff, I don't know what's going on. And my brother says that my, our internet is too slow or something. That it's not really the YouTube, it's my device. So we'll see um hopefully this will upload tonight or yeah upload tonight so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in a week bye